Ooh, hello. Okay, are you on? Okay. You have to join. You have to watch. Okay, it, it, you should see it. Okay. Oh my God, did you really? Uh, I'm trying to, ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay. Technical, having some technical. Oh, damn. Okay, so I need to. No. Ah. Uh, Okay, technical difficulties. Okay. I'm on reg I'm on my regular page. <laughs> Technical difficulties, y'all. Okay. Okay. Ooh, back. All right. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Get a couple of yeses. And I'm waiting for my guests. I'm trying to add them. Facebook decided to do a lot of updates this weekend. So uh, there's some new things going on. So we're going to see if we can um, figure out how to do this here. Um, shoot. Okay. Well, um, we're going to go ahead and keep it going, but I have, uh, three guests today that, um, if I can figure out how to add them to the discussion, we will go ahead and do that. Um, I see everyone, um, on here, uh, and thanks for joining and thanks. I, Thank you for letting me know y'all can hear me. I promise I'm, if I can't add you, so just to my special guest, if I can't add you um, visually, we're going to try to do this um, audio. Because again, like I said, Facebook decided to do some upgrades this weekend and they changed the Facebook Live um, video feed and the new uh, format was not working. Um, here for me just a few minutes ago. So we're just going to go ahead and wing it. And um, those of you who are my special guests, you can actually share in the, in the, um, in the group here. Um, so we'll just kind of, if you guys want to share your tips and then, 
So we'll do it like that. Um, technical difficulties always happen when you are trying to do something new. So anywho, the reason we are come together today was to, um, you know, just have everybody come together and talk about this whole coronavirus pandemic. This is like a first for most of us. I think, uh, I know working in higher ed and so, um, some of you have worked in higher ed, we've worked together. Um, we've dealt with other, you know, illnesses and viruses. Uh, my friend, uh, Angela Jackson, who's on here, she and I worked at University of Maryland. We dealt with the bird flu and some other things that happened in um, history. And then I'm sure other folks who have worked in higher ed, Justin and some other people, shout out to you from, we worked at um, Central State together, uh, and Elizabeth, we worked at Central State together. We've dealt with crisis management. So that's what we do. And so I just wanted to get together, though, with some folks and just talk about how we're dealing with um, coping with all of this. We just heard that Ohio is going on lockdown at midnight. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? Um, I mean, it's not hilarious, but it's just funny that all of this is happening at once. So um, I just want to quick shout out, if everybody can tell me where you're located um, in the comments, just say where you're from, um, where you're at right now. Um, hey, Cameron, I see some Kent State folks, shout out. Hey, Courtney, um, I see some folks from uh, OU. Hey, Angela Walker. Okay, we have multiple Angelas on here. I know of like 5 million Angelas, so I see... Angela Walker, uh, Angela Harris, Angela Jackson, all my Angelas. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, where's everybody from? Just give me a quick shout out um, and say where you're at. Dallas, Joan, hey, Miha, <laughs> hey, Courtney. Um, I know a few of you, you know, are in the Kentucky area. Um, hey, Winsome, what's up? Oh, you, yeah, what's up? <laughs> I see you, girl. So anyway, wanted to go ahead and um, just uh, thank you all again for coming. And again, keep shouting out where you're from and um, giving me the, you know, the pound, the fist up, what's up. Um, just wanted to uh, go ahead and start the discussion. So tonight I titled this uh, Navigating a Pandemic. Um, and those of you who know and have joined my group and have been on the discussions before, you know, you know, that, you know, a lot of us and most of us are 40 and over. And so we're creeping up to the age where we're susceptible to a lot of these things. I just got off the phone with my parents who are 80, um, 80, well, 81 and 79. And so, um, yeah, just checking in on them, making sure they're good, um, making sure everyone around them is good. Um, so just doing that on a regular basis. So make sure you're doing that with your relatives and your friends. Um, and make sure you're checking in on the people with kids so that, you know, they're not going crazy um, at home with the kids. All right, Cleveland, Courtney, I see you, 216. All right, y'all know I claim Cleveland all day. Um, <laughs> I'm not Angela Jackson, really. No, I'm not shouting out digits. I, I'm not that desperate yet. So we're not there yet. Hey, Ebony Green from o OU. Yes. All right, Charlotte. Charlotte in the house. All right. <laughs> I know what? Okay. Angela Jackson, no one said your age. Thank you. Um, but you're almost there. So you might as well join the group. So anyway, I um, just wanted to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you for being in my group. Um, and participating in the past discussions that we've had. I do a lot of old school topics and things like that. But tonight, I just wanted to do an evening of dialogue with tips um, about uh, comfort, self-care, um, cooking, you know, meal planning ideas, things like that. Um, and thanks for stopping by, you know, the live event um, to have the discussion and participate in it. So, um, my special guests, I will go ahead and introduce them. You'll see them in the chat. And I apologize again for the technical difficulties of not being able to add them to the video. Um, I thought it, I had it all planned out, but every time you have te technology planned out, it never goes the way you want it to go. Isn't that the way it always is? So I wanted to introduce uh, my friends who are part of my clique, um, as all of you are. Um, but I wanted to introduce you to Dr. Angela L. Harris, um, 
And she and I go back to, uh, we worked at Ohio University together. Um, Dr. Harris is a mental health and wellness advocate, a motivational speaker, a workshop facilitator, author, and the creator of the No Bibs Burps Bottles. Um, uh, it's a story, stories of African-American women without children. It's a blog and it's a podcast. Um, she also has T-shirts available. So, um, but it's a really great group. It's a great conversation because there's a lot of women out there who do not have children, um, contrary to popular <laughs> belief. And so um, just a shout out, you know, to her for starting that conversation, because I think sometimes it's a conversation that's hard to have. And then during a time like this, for the folks who don't have children, we're home by ourselves. So I'm starting to get on my own nerves. <laughs> So with this whole pandemic being in the house thing, so you can imagine um, you looking at yourself, you, uh, you know, cooking for yourself, which, you know, you do all the time, but you're like, hey, I'm tired of looking at myself. I want to see some other people. So again, that's why it's important to get online and do some um, interaction with folks and, um, you know, and do some dialogues and discussions and have some fun. I know the other day, my friend Joan, who's also on here, she posted a family feud uh, um, thing online the other day just for people to have fun. I noticed the people I sent it to did not respond to it. So when we get off of here, please go back and check uh, check your inbox or not your inbox, but check your, your homepage feed for the family feud um, that I sent you. So anyway, my next guest is also an Angela, one of my Angelas, um, Angela Jackson. She's a cookbook enthusiast. She's a modern day recipe chaser, reminiscing about flavors from her grandmother's kitchen and nights on the town. As an HR professional, Angela has worked in higher ed, nonprofit and utility industries. She is currently a learning and development manager in the financial services industry. And Angela Jackson and I go way back to um, University of Maryland. We worked there. And again, we worked in residence life together. And so we had to deal with just the drama of that. So you can imagine those of you who have students in college right now, we are the people who, you know, were taking care of your, your students while you were there in the, in the residence halls, or as others like to call them, the dorms. So either way, politically correct residence halls, old school dorms, y'all know what I'm talking about. So um, welcome to Angela Jackson. <clears throat> and then, hey, Mark DeWitt, what's up? I want Central State people, what's up? So, um, and then I uh, have my, my good friend, El Elizabeth Ball, um, and Mrs. Elizabeth A. Odell Bieber Ball is a servant leader. She's a wife, a mother, bonus mom, and, and a nana. In, uh, and her relationship with God is the foundation for all of her other relationships. She's one of my really good friends together. Um, she uh, also has expertise in career development, um, and nonprofit work, um, and she's awesome. And so all of you are awesome. So thank you so much for joining the call. Um, and those of you who just joined, um, if you wanna, again, shout out where you're located, shout out where you're at. Thanks, Angela uh, Harris for the yay to the click. Yes, my click, hey. Y'all know my theme song is uh, like that Kanye West, the click, that's my, you know, I thought of this a few years ago and I was like, you know what? Especially going, growing older, you know, everyone needs to have a clique. I have a group of people together. I saw Lottie on here. Shout out to Alabama. All right. So, um, so yeah, again, thank you for joining. So, what I'm going to do um, is, again, I meant to have these other people on here um, live for you, but I did not get to do that. So, what I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Harris to do is post, you know, a couple of things maybe, uh, or pose a question to folks if you want to on the feed about um, like how they're dealing with mental mental health um, and, and, and how's that going as far as self-care and the things that they're doing at home to keep themselves sane. Um, so uh, I want to do that, Dr. Harris, and just like a quick little question, then we'll let people comment um, on that. And the same thing with Angela Jackson. Um, and I'll just give you background, some more background on Angela Jackson with the cooking. She's a cooking cookbook enthusiast. Um, and I think I turned into a, a cookbook enthusiast because of her as well. And um, 
when we were at University of Maryland, one of the things we would do to comfort ourselves, especially um, an African American community, we had a small African American community there on campus in housing and res life. But what we would do was get together and cook and have a good time and, you know, have old school kind of house parties. And Angela was very much one of those hostesses. And Angela Harris, we did the same thing too at, at OU because we had a small, you know, black community there as well. Um, and Angela Harris, I see that you've posted a question. What have you been, what have been your self-care strategies during COVID-19? So if everybody wants to um, post um, and share, what are some things you've been doing to cope with this whole, this whole thing? Um, I know trying to stay away from people is just something, you know, that it's hard because I, as a person who's the only child, grew up only child by myself, there's no problem for me to stay away from people. Like I, I be by myself all the time. However, when you want to be around people, then with something like this, where they're telling you to stay in the house, that's very hard. So my mental health, like trying to grasp that and all y'all that know me, y'all know I'm a social butterfly. Thus the, you know, the discussion we're having tonight, just to see people and interact with people. You know, I have to interact with others, even though I'm a, I'm an only child, I'm very much an extrovert. So I need to interact with other people. So that's been a struggle um, for me. And thank you, Angela Jackson. Thank you for the shout out. Um, yes, and those old school house parties. So when, y'all, when they let us off of this uh, lockdown, we're we going to have a block party in the street everywhere. Like, I I, I hand that over to y'all to say, hey, once we they let us off this lockdown, we're going to be in the streets acting foolish because this is crazy. Um, hey, Miss Seals! Oh! One of my uh, guidance counselors from high school, Yvonne Sims. Hello, thank you, and welcome. Um, welcome to the group. Um, I see Dr. Harris has posted um, so some tips that Dr. Harris is giving to everyone. Make sure you're doing physical activity. Um, I order those kettlebell weights um, just so I can do some strength training while I'm here in the house. Um, I walked outside this morning, so physical activity is very important. Uh, it's like a ghost town walking around, you know, because no one's outside, but get some fresh air is always, because being cooped up in the house, it's just hard. Because um, when you're used to going out every day, going to work or going to the store, going to doing what you need to do, it's very hard to be in the house. Um, also, Dr. Harris said healing within, um, awareness of feelings. So again, being aware of what's going on with you. Um, if you by yourself, you're probably like me, you probably talk to yourself. <laughs> if you don't, somebody's lying. So if you're by yourself, you talk to yourself all the time. So maybe cut down on some of that. Hey, Armand Scott, what's up? All my Kent State people in the house. Thanks for joining um, the conversation. Um, and then uh, Angela Harris also said, change up your self-care and therapy. And I assume, and maybe you can correct me, uh, Angela Harris, on the therapy part, because we have, even though we can't go physically see people, uh, see a therapist in person, they do have online options, and they have apps out there um, where you can, you know, get a therapist and sign up and talk to a therapist live. Um, so those are great recommendations, and thank you so much for that. Um, Angela Jackson said that she each day goes out for a walk, practices social distancing, but I go to collect my thoughts, which is very important. That's what I did this morning. I got out the house. I had to get out. Like I had been in like the whole weekend. I was like, I've got to get out the house. Um, so often going for a drive too, even if it's, you're in your car, just to drive around and see what's going on or just, you know, and I, I joked with somebody last night that Walmart is about to become the mall, the new mall because that's the only place that's open. That and your local grocery stores are the only places that are open. So, you know, just to go and walk around, like those of you who have Fitbit um, trackers and things like that, if you walk around the grocery store long enough, you can get some real good steps in. So remember that, because I know a lot of people like to pick up their groceries and order them online and things like that. But if you push the cart around, wipe the cart down first. But if you go in to the grocery store and walk around, uh, you'll get some really good steps um, in, in just going into the grocery store. Um, also, uh, yeah, and just looking at the flowers, look at nature. This is a great time to get in touch with nature, y'all. Those of, those of us who really don't like outside, especially when it gets hot, 
Um, but this is a good time. It's spring. Spring has sprung. And so this is a good time to go outside. Um, and just a side note, too, for those of you who are, I think, uh, southeast, I think there's some rain and storms coming your way. So if you have not gone to the store, make sure you do that um, one, one last time. Get your toilet paper. <laughs> get all your food. Um, also, Elizabeth said walking outside, regardless of the weather, 20 minutes in the morning and before dinner time. And that's a good tip. Thank you for that. Um, and also pay attention again to nature, to the birds singing, rain falling, sun shining, wind blowing, deep breathing. Because, yeah, we have to take some breaths because, again, you're, you're having a lot of alone time. Some of you are not. And, and those of you with kids, I shout you out. And if you have some tips too, those of you who are who have kids and who are homeschooling them, um, shout out some tips and things like that, and I'll share that on here too. Joan from Dallas, my girl, she used to work at OU too, so we worked together. Um, she said she's been sleeping. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of sleep time as well, and I'm trying not to do that as much though because I do want to keep myself on a remind myself that we have to go back to work at some point, but. I have been getting a lot of sleep. So if you've been lacking on sleep or you've been working hard up until this whole pandemic kicked in and you um, and you haven't been getting your sleep, go ahead, get your sleep on. Um, get it in um, before we have to, you know, uh, go back and to our regular schedule. Also, dancing in your living room to exercise. Line dancing, you'd be surprised. Even if you're by yourself, line dancing, get your cardio in. Um, Go to YouTube, pull up uh, uh, Cupid Shuffle and uh, Electric Slide and all those line dances. And you'll be surprised how much exercise you can get just line dancing. Yes, by yourself. Um, and then meditation, someone mentioned, and yoga. There's lots of free yoga videos out there. on And um, YouTube has lots of great exercise videos. On Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime also has lots of good exercise videos and things too. Um, and then also, uh, Dr. Harris also mentioned self-care can go beyond candles and bubble baths. Consider a hobby. Um, take up a new physical activity, um, something that challenges you. Virtual therapy sessions can still get you through. So again, if you're looking for some therapy or some other alternative self-care, make sure you look up virtual therapy sessions because I'm sure, especially now, there are lots out there. So make sure you go out there. And also... If you are specifically looking for maybe therapy from African-American therapists, I know there's groups out there. Um, Angela, if you want to mention those groups as well, I know there's some uh, mental health therapists that are, they have all African-American groups as well. So if you want to mention that, that would be great too. Um, some people just like, you know, specific things or if you prefer a woman, you know, I know a lot of times I prefer a woman doctor um, a lot of times. So just it just depends on what you prefer and like. Hey, Lisa Early from D.C., what's up? Hey, miss you. It's one of my former alumni from OU. Um, she said, taking quiet time each morning to pray, that's very important, and taking a few minutes to walk outside for exercise and fresh air, definitely. So I see a theme here, go outside. Just go outside, especially if it's nice like it is. It's springy right now. Um, it's still a little chill in the air, depending on where you live, but... Get some fresh air. That's the important thing. Um, um, and Dr. Harris said, yeah, the virtual therapy apps are wonderful. So, yes. Um, Angela Jackson said, I call all my friends and family as much as I can. Sometimes that's hard um, because, of course, we miss our friends and family. Like, it's away from everybody and not being able to go see them. Like, the fact that Ohio just went on lockdown at midnight I'm not driving to Ohio anytime soon. I wish I could. Y'all know my birthday is coming up. This is so hard for me because y'all know I love to celebrate my birthday outside of the house. So this is going to be real hard. So look up, be on the lookout for a virtual birthday party for me because, yeah, y'all don't even understand. This will be the first probably birthday in the history of my birthday that I have not been able to have a party. My parents started having parties for me when I was little. I think I was like five years old or something like that, even before that. And I've been having them ever since. And so this is going to be real, real hard for me. So y'all pray for me <laughs> when my birthday roll around. But just be on the lookout. I am definitely probably going to have a virtual birthday party. So turn up. Get ready to turn up. <laughs> um, 
So, yeah. So even if, you know, people's birthdays are coming up, you can, um, Angela Jackson was mentioning being able to take somebody a birthday present and drop it off at their house. Um, even if you don't get to see them or interact with them. Another thing is vir everything's virtual now. So you can send somebody a virtual Starbucks card, a virtual gift card or whatever, just to say, I'm thinking about you. Um, but also this is a good time to text and call some people you haven't talked to in forever. Um, I did that this morning and talked to some people. I was like, hey, you know, I haven't talked to you in forever. I text a couple people I haven't talked to in a long time. Um, hey, Brandy Watkins, Soror, what's up? In Columbus, how you doing? Um, and then uh, Dr. Harris also said, be aware of your feelings. It's a very hard time for many people. Um, call rather than text. Also, write letters. And Angela, you're not the only person I've heard say that. Somebody on TV this morning said, write letters. I know, you know, we're in a digital age now. But my, my parents made me write letters back in the day. I had grandparents, my aunts, my uncles. So I'm a, you know, pretty good letter writer. So get back into practice. Teach your kids how to write letters. Because if they can do that, that means they can write, you know, other things. Um, they can write their cover letter, letters for, for work when they get ready to get in the workforce one day. But writing a letter to a loved one, just dropping that, because the mail service is still running. Um, but that, you know, that might get us back, you know, into more connection, you know, with each other, doing stuff like that. And she said, singing louder in the shower, you know, we do that. I do that already, you know, because no one's here to hear me. Um, but healing yourself and making sure you're working on yourself, this is a good time to work on yourself. Um, yeah, and those are great tips. Hey, Christy, that's my cousin. What's up? Alabama in the house. Um, also, Angela Harris said you can check psychology to today to get specifics of what you are looking for. You can also check the Association of Black Psychologists, um, ABCI, if you have, if you're looking for a black male or female therapist. So again, there's, if you want to be specific, you can definitely do that. Hello, Jade. Hello, Anna Kay. What's up? For OU in the house. Um, yes. And Angela Jackson, I agree. We'll have to have a virtual birthday party for me and I'll coordinate it. <laughs> I have no problem with doing that, but y'all know, y'all know I'm on a struggle bus with the birthday right now. Um, so, um, and so, uh, hey, Rita, Columbus in the house. Love you. You guys are awesome. Um, and then uh, Elizabeth uh, Beamer Ball, if you want to also chime in with some tips, I know you already put some tips up, but I know the area of spirituality and faith, um, we want to talk about that um, a little bit um, during this time, because it's a, it's a struggle for some. It's a, it's a, you know, just a, you know, a lot of questions, you know, maybe your kids are asking questions like, why are we in the house? What's going on? Um, you know, why do we have to stay away from other people? And just trying to deal with that in your mind. And then also with all the, the deaths that are going on, the, the instantaneous deaths that are happening, unfortunately. Um, watching CNN now, they're doing another press conference from the White House, and CNN runs the, the totals on the side of the TV. So the U.S., total cases right now of uh, COVID-19 are 31,000 and the deaths keep going up each day. Those are up to 395. On Friday, they were at 204, up to 395, y'all. So this is no joke, no joke. Um, Elizabeth said, definitely count your blessings. Um, but yeah, that's why it's so important to stay in the house. I don't know uh, if you've paid attention, if you have regular TV, um, but on the on TV now, they're they're running public service ads, just saying stay in the house. And even the doctors now are telling people if you have symptoms, stay in the house and call in and do like a virtual medical you know kind of examination, if you will. They are also doing the drive by tests in a lot of cities. So it's just you know it's um, it's a hard it's a struggle for some of us to have to. Um, Cause we've never dealt with anything like this. Um, I think on TV the other day, they were talking about how we deal with natural disasters. Natural disasters usually happen in one area. So that area is dealing with it. And then if you want to volunteer or help, you can go to that area to do that. But this is such a widespread, all 50 states now are dealing with this um, situation. Um, the last state to get a victim um, or a patient, if you will, was West Virginia. Um, 
but that took that took several days and what i was shocked because it's in the middle it's right there in the middle but all the other states around it had patients already and so now we're at 50 states in fact And so just trying to deal with that, trying not to touch things. You know, these are scary times, Joan. These are scary times. Um, a lot of things you're grateful for or grateful about in your life, um, your ability to breathe without machines, um, because they're running out of machines, y'all. They're running out of machines. They're running out of equipment. Um, so your ability to just be alive and be safe and be alive without machines is a plus. Also, just keep praying for those people who were also already sick before this happened um you know we have a lot of elderly people who are in um nursing homes and things like that uh who are uh, live by themselves who may or may not be able to you know get you know have interaction with people so just make sure you're checking in on your elderly folks um and people that live by themselves especially checking on those people who are not extroverts people like they were talking the other day too for people who are introverts this is a like this is normal for them to be by themselves, but check on them because that doesn't mean that they're okay. Um, so make sure if you're an extrovert like me, make sure you're checking on everybody that you know. Um, Elizabeth says uh, also to look at in the Bible, Proverbs. Proverbs is a book in the Bible that mirrors a calendar month. I did not know that. That's one of my favorite books of the Bible, but I did not know that. Um, read one proverb a day and reflect on how it applies to you. How can you apply it to your life? That's really good. Thank you, Elizabeth, for that um, <clears throat> that tip. Um, I did not know that Proverbs uh, mirrors a, ca a calendar month. So um, I'm gonna try that. So I encourage everyone else to try that as well. Um, and if you have any other tips, Elizabeth, uh, uh, biblic biblically, spiritually, um, then let us know that as well. Joan, you have your hand up. Are you waving? Who has any questions or tips? And those people with kids, I want some of y'all to chime in. Like, you know, let us know what um, you are doing with your kids. Are you uh, homeschooling successfully? I know some of you, I know Cameron, you had posted earlier in the week uh, a, a schedule. Like you keeping your kids on a schedule like they back at school. And I, shoot, I made a schedule for myself because I was like, uh, what am I don't, this is too much free time on my hands. So I made myself a schedule of things that I could do during the day. Of course, put breaks in there, lunch. Um, but I also, um, and Angela, if you want to chime in with the food, Angela Jackson, we could talk about meal planning. I meal planned and, and, and I went to the grocery store, I got all my stuff. Um, and I actually cooked like I am going to work or, or I cooked like um, in terms of meal prep, as if I'm going to work. And so I have my meals for, for dinner already prepared. I have my meals for lunch already prepared and breakfast. So that way, you know, I'm on a regular schedule. I'm not just eating junk. I'm not just, you know, eating just to be eaten. Um, so, you know, those are all things that you can do. Um, Angela Jackson said she likes the schedule idea. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then Joan said she had to be explicit about asking my family to check on me because I'm out here alone. So again, she's in Dallas and your family, I think is in New York, maybe correct me if I'm wrong. So that's a long way. Um, so if you have relatives who are far away, who are living far away, and if they're by themselves, make sure you're checking in on them. Um, Angela Jackson said, one thing she wanted to just a little icebreaker for everybody, what's the strangest food you have in your cupboard or fridge right now? Um, and you can build a menu around that um so yeah so if people want to chime in what's a what's a what's a interesting food that you have in your cupboard or fridge and uh what uh you can try to build a, a menu around that um she said some other tips would be for your kitchen is to take inventory of what you have in your cabinets and fridge um, so that way you don't go out buying a bunch of crazy stuff that you don't need um so i did do that before i went out to the store i looked at what i had which was nothing and so I was good on um, on buying all the things I need to get. I also looked at recipes. So somebody the other day said, uh, and I try to, I've been trying to do this, cook or buy food according to a recipe in terms of meal prep and meal planning, because then you're not just buying food just to be buying it, and then things aren't going to waste. Um, 
Angel also said, be creative, build a menu around the condiments in your fridge. So if you have lots of ketchup or mustard or salad dressings, things like that, that you know you need to use up, build a menu around that. That's a good idea. Take time each week to plan around grocery store circulars, coupons, trips you've taken, cuisines you love. So this is a good time to do all of that that she's mentioning. If you um, like to try different types of foods, and we got time on our hands to try different things. So if you know you like Asian food, Asian cuisine, try to cook some stir fry, try to cook some other things that you know that you like. Um, if you like Italian or Mexican, try to make some Mexican food. This is also a good time, you know, if you have it in your budget to order, if you don't have one, an Instapot or a crock pot and an air fryer. I just cooked up some stuff this weekend, bam, done in like minutes because I put most of it either in the air fryer or the crock pot. Um, and then also one tip that I have is if you don't want to dirty stuff up, because I'm trying not to dirty stuff up, I have switched over to paper plates and plastic wear, because I'm not trying to be in, in this house washing dishes all day. Um, so I can just throw, you know, throw everything away. Um, and I'm not entertaining nobody and nobody's here. It's just me. So, um, so yeah. So just uh, plan your menu around some of the things that you already have. Uh, and grocery store circulars, if you have an app called or are familiar with the app called Flip, try that because that will bring up all circulars you put in the stores that you're familiar with. If you like Aldi, Kroger, Walmart, or whatever, it will bring up all the circulars. You can make your list from the circular that they have there. Um, and by circular, I hope you all know, you know, back in the day when your mother would get the newspaper on Sunday and get all the sale papers um, I forgot about that, but yeah, that's the thing we used to do every Sunday in my house and make your list of the things you need to buy and the things that are on sale. Dust off the cookbooks that you have in your house. Some of y'all, now y'all heard me clowning on, uh, on Facebook the other day about y'all that have bought up all the meat and everything at the grocery store. Some of y'all don't never fire up your oven. Ain't never cooked all year long. But you want to cook now. That's a good thing. Cook's a good thing. But some of y'all are wrong. You know you're wrong. So, but yeah, dust off your cookbooks, dust off your pans and your pots, and get to cooking. Um, a lot of recipes are great, um, and they tell a story, as Angela mentioned um, in her post here, um, at least the one she's used to. So maybe this is the time to revisit some recipes that you haven't tried in a while. Maybe it's the time to uh, call your mama, call your auntie or somebody and ask them for an old recipe, you know, of some food that you like that they cooked back in the day. Um, you know, think of this is the time to reminisce on childhood and, 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 and read and try some recipes maybe you remember from when you were young. Um, so, yeah, so do that. I know my mother still has all the old cookbooks and things, um, and she treasures those. And so that this is the time for you to start maybe starting yourself a, your own cookbook collection and try new things for your family. Um, and then also um, Pinterest. If you're on Pinterest, I stay on Pinterest. I'm addicted to Pinterest. It's a problem. Um, maybe I need to get some therapy <laughs> for that. But Pinterest has lots of good recipes. And it helps you also meal prep. So you can save a lot of the recipes from Pinterest to um you know, if you have an organizing tool or you can send the link to a list that you're creating to go to the grocery store. Um, but, yeah, those are really good tips. Um, also, don't forget to order in or do takeout. Um, most of us like variety in our diet, so it's best to continue to eat the types of foods you like. So, again, the DoorDash people are off the chain right now. Like, they making all the money. DoorDash, um, the what is it, Uber Eats, all these food delivery and they, they'll leave it right outside your house, right outside your door if you want. So, um, yeah. So, again, uh, go ahead and do that. Do those things that make your life regular. Like, don't, you know, I think, uh, I think we've all adjusted to the change. So, go ahead, especially as far as food's concerned, get back on a regular schedule with food. Don't just binge eat and things like that. Get back on a regular schedule. Get your kids on a regular schedule with food. Um, especially, too, if you do any sort of specialty diet like keto or low carb or any of these other diet, Weight Watchers, things like that. If you're doing those things, stay on task. If you are in Weight Watchers, they have virtual studio meetings set up. Um, they did the first one this past Thursday, and they'll do more next week. So stay on, on focus if you have a goal in mind with, like, weight loss and things like that. But 
keep food is one of the things that you can you know make regular um in your life and so elizabeth also mentions um using a journal writing things down use a notebook or journal each day to write how you feel and why um that's a, a form of you know therapy if you will ask god for the lesson and the feeling and ask how you might consider how others may feel so that's that's a lot to you know to break down. So um, that's an important thing to do though for yourself, especially if you're not sure about what's going on and what's next. So thank you, Elizabeth, for that tip. Um, Angela Jackson talked about crepes and pancake mix. So um, you know if you're trying different things, if you want to try different things, try to make a crepe. That's something I, I have to make. I'm gonna try to make that um, one day. Some crepes. Um, that's a good idea. And then pesto, Angela mentioned, pesto can be a great condiment. And that's easy to make. I've seen many recipes on pesto. So um, I encourage you to try different things, try different foods, um, because this is the time to do it. This is the time to try different things. And I've had quite a few recipes and things that didn't turn out great that I, um, you know, tried. And you know what? It's by trial and error. But this is the time to do it. Um, maybe this is a time to also get your kids to try some new things. I know one thing my mother was good at growing up was putting different types of foods in front of me um, that I had never tried before. So there's different vegetables that I like because she did that. There's different types of food that I cuisine that I like because she did that. So try that with your with your kids. Um, Joan mentioned also roasted seaweed. That sounds very healthy. Um, so. Um, let me know somebody, and if you have a picture of roasted seaweed, Joan, put it on the click group so that people can see that. And anything, and I'm encourage everyone too, if you're cooking this week, meal plan and things like that, post those photos. If you go outside, take a walk, if you get your journal and do all these things that people are recommending that you do, post that in the group so that we can see what you're doing to, to cope with and deal with this, um, this crisis. Um, so, um, hey, Nika, high school, what's up? Um, so, yeah, so if there's any other tips, I still haven't seen. I guess y'all parents are like, yeah, we're not trying to uh, <laughs> deal with the kids right now because no one has said anything about their kids yet because I know some of y'all got kids. Um, Dr. Harris said virtual cooking, make a meal with friends on Zoom or live. That's a good idea. Um, we might do that. That's a good idea. We might do that next week. Make dinner and then everyone come together virtually to eat. A virtual happy hour on Friday. I, I thought about the and I saw your happy hour the other day that I think you were doing with coworkers, um, and I'm thinking about doing a happy hour um, next week. You know, before my birthday. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, we're doing a birthday virtual birthday party on March 31st. Okay, um, so Genghis, I see you joined the group. Thank you for coming. Um, Anybody else have any tips or anything? Uh, no one with kids seem to be commenting on anything. That's cracking me up right now. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining. And, um, and thank you to uh, Angela Jackson for the tips on cooking. Uh, thank you to Elizabeth. And I'm just going to warn y'all now, my signal may or may not go out because my signal here is acting acting funny at the moment. So I'm just going to warn you if if I blank out here, but it seems to be working right now. So um, yeah, thank you for the tips, Dr. Harris. Thank you for the uh, tips on mental health. You guys make sure um, you are checking in on your family and friends, also your pets, uh, you know, you know, just make sure they're good. When some see this is we're so college we've worked in higher ed way too long. She said, "See a shot, take a shot challenge." Yeah, okay, well, yeah, but maybe I'll do that on my birthday. <laughs> maybe we'll do that for my birthday party, um, my virtual birthday party. Uh, that, that's a good idea, though. Yeah, and make sure. I mean, I yeah, I went to the store, got me some wine, got some got some the drinking supplies <laughs> because if you're gonna be in the house stuck in the house uh have yourself a good time don't don't get too turned up however um yeah make sure you have what you need uh, all the things you would have on a regular basis make sure you have them um melissa my roommate from college what hey uh she said encourage your kids to give you <laughs> encourage your kids to give you a foot massages and facials 
Um, <laughs> she said, okay, goodbye. She said, encourage your kids to give you foot massages and facials. But no, that's actually a good idea. That's, this is a good time to bond with your kids. Uh, I mean, I want to be, well, the facial thing that's helping you clean your face. Um, but you, I know we're not supposed to be as close or that close to each other, but this is a good time to bond with your kids and bond with other family members. So painting the nails, massage, stuff like that. Um, those are all good ideas. Uh, Angela Jackson gave us a good idea of <clears throat> make. I know she likes, likes to make turkey wings. So turkey wings with glazed sherry is legit. That's what she said. Um, y'all, I'm trying to, if you, if you ever get to eat any of her food, y'all going to be in heaven. Cause she was, she kept us, she, she, she helped us get through it when we was at university of Maryland. Okay. Um, she said real simple, take some turkey wings, brush them with sherry. Um, and they will turn a beautiful burgundy color. Now, for those of us who do not have sherry sitting around the house, what is an alternative, Angela? So let me know, post that there. Um, and if you have that recipe for turkey wings, Post that in the group, in the bigger click group, so that people can get that. Um, and I'll follow up with all of y'all, too, on the recipes and recommendations. I'll try to go through the feed here and find, you know, different comments and things. Um, Winsome said the shot, take a shot, see a shot, take a shot. That's hot right now. So I guess we're going to, I guess, Winsome, I guess we'll be doing that next week for my birthday. Okay. Um, Jasmine Nelson, hey. Um and then Dr. Harris is, is doing a shameless plug. She said, if you are child free, 30 years old and older, please join my face, join my group on Facebook. No bibs, burps, bottles, private group celebrating black child free women. We are dope and we are. So that's, that's not a shameless plug. Hey, if any of y'all got businesses or other groups if, when you're doing virtual things coming up in the next, because this is what we're going to be doing. This is going to be our life for the next couple months, y'all. Virtual contact. So anybody that has groups, things like that, shout it out um, so that we can. Um, so again, that's bibs, no bibs, burps, and bottles. That's Dr. Harris's group um, celebrating black women who are child free. I'm one of those. I'm one of her group members. Um, and that's no hate or shade to anybody that has kids. We love y'all's kids too. Um, but we just don't have them ourselves for whatever reason. And so, um, but we support you. So I, and I still ain't seen no parents say nothing about the kids. Y'all not thinking about y'all kids today. Um, Angela Jackson on the turkey wings recipe said that you serve, serve it with rice, pilaf, or a mashed potato, um, and the roasted meat complements the potato. See, you see how knowledgeable she is? It complements the potato. So, Angela, if you can post that recipe in the click group, um, I'll, I'll do a post because I think you guys can only post if I post something and you respond to it. So I'll put a follow-up message to say um, in the group to say if you have recipes and other tips uh, for coping with this situation, um, post here. So I'll do that after we're done here. Um, and Joan said she used to give her grandma a foot rub all the time. So, yeah, our elderly, check on them. See what they need from us. Um, thanks, Dr. Harris. Uh, and join my group. Yeah. So any if you're not a part of my group yet, the Click, uh, go through the Click podcast. So it's Kelly. I'm sorry. It's www.facebook.com, the Click podcast. So that's my Facebook discussion group where we have these types of discussions and more. Um, and we do old school, you know, throwback videos, throwback, you know, pictures. You'll see currently there, there's a picture of me from prom that I t said uh, that I would put up for you guys, um, you know, just to show you my 80s, 90s attire. So, um, so yeah, so make sure if you are not a part of the Click Podcast group. And also make sure you listen to my podcast, which is um, W www.anchor a n c h o r dot f m slash the click that's the podcast so make sure you listen to that um and angela jackson uh yeah that her group um angela harris's group no bibs burps bottles i thought i had invited you to that but i apologize um so yes make sure you join that group angela harris if you can take find the link to your group and put it in here that will be helpful Probably have to do that from your phone. Or put it in the click. No, but actually, 
I take that back. When I do the post follow up here, then I'll provide a place for you guys to post all the follow up. Okay, so sorry for that ramble. Um, and Angela Jackson said, if you don't have sherry at home, you can cook the turkey wings in Chardonnay or brush them with a little butter. Not the same effect, but still taste. You know, got to get that little bit of the wine taste on there. Um, but if you don't drink wine, you can use butter. And I'm guessing maybe olive oil. Uh, hey, Tamara Clark Sykes, my god sister. Hey, my cousin Alex, what's up? Um, and thanks, Dr. Harris, for the podcast shout out. Uh, she says I'm very funny on there. I try to be comical to everyone. Try to entertain you. Uh, and Joan said my son, my click podcast is her Sunday morning routine. Oh, I didn't know you was doing it like that. Okay, that means I got to do it more regular. Oh my goodness. Um, but you guys are great. Thanks for the feedback. Um, and Angela said that olive oil would be fine to brush on your turkey wings. So um, if you don't want to use wine. So that's really great. So I just want to, if there's any more questions that anybody has for Angela Jackson, for Elizabeth Beamer Ball, or Dr. Harris, um, I, well, we just have a few more minutes left. I wanted this to be an hour. Um, hey, Max Stevens, how you doing? Oh, you in the house? Um, but I, I, if anybody has any more questions regarding, you know, coping skills or, or things that you can do or any other comments, no, still no one has said anything about their kids or homeschool or anything like that. I think it's, so I, th I guess this was therapy for y'all to get away from, from all of that. And I, I, I'm thankful that you joined the group and became a part of the discussion. And I thank you so much. Next time, I hope to get the people, the guests that I have on here live. Um, but we're going to, I'm going to try to definitely do some more self-care Sunday um, live events, especially while we're all cooped up in the house. Hey, Melissa, can stay in the house. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to do a, a couple more of these. And if there's some interested in and talking about, let me know. <clears throat> but we'll probably just do a couple more check-ins on see what people are doing, how they're coping um, with, um, with this whole situation. And the next time we do it, Maybe we will focus on kids and, and homeschooling and the things you're doing with your with your kids. Um, also, college students that, you know, some of you have college students that are home that were supposed to be at school, you know. So the, the residence halls have closed down. Uh, they're doing online school um, for both public school as well as the college level. So how's that going? Because some students, you know, especially in the public school, you know, don't have access to computers. And I hate that they closed the libraries. I know they had to, but some people just don't have access to computers and other tools. So I just wonder how they are dealing, you know, with that. Shout out to all the school teachers who are having to now switch from in-classroom teaching to online teaching and professors who are, have to do that. Shout out to you because you are doing it. Um, keeping our kids engaged. Shout out to the parents who have to do homeschool right now. <laughs> Um, you know, you hadn't planned on that. <laughs> and so shout out to you all who have adjusted and uh, helped your kids cope and deal with that as well. Um, also, last one of the last tips is uh, Dr. Harris said, uh, please just take a few minutes away from the TV. The media overkill about COVID-19 is not good for your mental state. Being too informed without an outlet can be damaging to your spirit. And that is so true. Um, and even if you take you take a break from the TV, but also take a break from the news. You don't have to watch that all the time. You listen, just like me, when you're working, you don't have time to get caught up on your um, movies and things. Some of us have all these streaming applications. We have Netflix. Uh, some of us have Amazon Prime. Some people have Hulu, all this stuff. You don't have time to watch that when we're working. Let's just be honest. So this is a prime time to get caught up on all of your viewing all the back shows and episodes that you have not had a chance to see, this is the time to do it. Um, I'm, I, I, I'm go I might have to break down and get Netflix. I haven't had Netflix for a long time, but there's so many different shows and things that I want to watch. And this is probably the time, you know, to go ahead and do it. So I may do it on a trial basis or something like that. I don't know, but I'm getting caught up on my Amazon prime. I know that because if you pay for prime, you paying for them shows and, and movies and things as well with, with your membership. So this is a time to catch up on all of that stuff. Um, 
So yeah, and Angela Jackson said college kids can eat. So make sure if you need to go to the grocery store again, you might have to go because some of y'all uh, didn't get enough. <laughs> um, Angela Jackson also said, this is the time to clean your house. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like cleaning, but this is the time to clean your house, clean your kitchen, clean everything, get it together and take your time. Like again, we are all home, you know, everyone's in the house. Uh, Ohio's on lockdown at midnight, so we don't want to catch none of y'all outside after midnight um, tonight in Ohio, okay? So um, if there's nothing else, if everyone's satisfied, um, I thank you so much for participating in this first uh, Self-Care Sunday discussion, and there will be more, especially since we're all in this together, um, in this situation together. I'll post some things after um, this is over in the group. If you haven't joined the group, if you're on this discussion today and you have not joined my group, the Click Podcast, make sure you join. And I'll put the um, the link to, to it here. It's www.facebook.com slash the Click Podcast. I think I wrote it right. Yes. So if you have not joined the group, um, join it and then also invite others to join as well. All right. Um, and I'll also post my podcast here. So that's www.fm slash the click. Okay. And I thank you all so much for being a part of my click. Um, all of y'all that are on here, whether you're family, friends, college um, classmates, high school classmates, uh, former co-workers, um, all y'all are a part of my click. And I, I would not have gotten through, you know, life without, um, without you uh, being some part of my life in terms of whether it was in college, because y'all know we kicked it at Kent State. Um, University of Maryland, Ohio University, we got through that because, you know, there's only a small group of black folks there. Um, Central State, we had a great time. It was very, very interesting um, working there, but it was a great time that we had all together and all the different experiences that I've had. And so this is yet another experience that we are going through together. And I appreciate all of you, love all of you, and thank you so much for joining. So I'm going to sign off and catch me on the Click Podcast Facebook group. Thank you so much. Bye.